Have you ever wanted to know where your clean drinking water comes from? Or how fast you can turn salt water into fresh water? I recently visited with Michael Poitras, a community college student, who showed me how his internship at a desalination plant put him on a whole new career track in water treatment. Hi Mike, how are you? Good, how are you doing Caroline? Good, so what is this place? This is our intake structure. Yep. This is the river that we take our water from, that we take the salt out of. This is brackish water where the ocean water meets more fresh water that comes from the streams and rivers, you know, that deposit into this river. In desalination plants, that's usually the type of water that they look for to use for drinking water because mm -hmm. it's a less concentrated salt content. Mm -hmm. There's less salt from the ocean in this water because of the fresh water. Mm -hmm. So did you learn all the skills that you use here from community college? Many of them, yes. I did this through an internship, mm -hmm. which they try to encourage at the school. When this plant was opening up, mm -hmm. I started off as a just an unpaid intern, then it became a paid internship and actually became a full-time job from there within a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Linda, the plant manager here, was very flexible as far as my classes and working it in with my hours here at the plant. So your life just completely turned around from what you were doing? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is nothing like what I've ever done before. I had no knowledge of this stuff at all when I started off. Mm -hmm. A lot of the equipment here is new and, you know, it's, it was a learning process for everyone, but more so for me. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I never did any kind of water treatment. Yeah. But the stuff that I did learn in school was a big help to me learning stuff here as well as what I learned here made a lot of sense of what I learned in school. So. Mm -hmm. so this water here, that's where it all starts. That's what we're eventually drinking at home. Yep, this is the water that they're eventually drinking. This mm -hmm. is actually the water taken right from the river. This is what we start with. As you can see, it's got a little color to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, not to mention the things you can't see, but this is where our equipment comes in and the chemistry and all that that takes everything out of this. And eventually you'll have crystal clear water you know, right from this. Mm -hmm. How much time does it take to get that water into a glass from home? From this water to clean water probably takes less than a day, within hours. Wow, that's really fast. Yeah, it's, the equipment's unbelievable. So what are these, I don't even know what to call them. These are called <laughs> trash racks. This is just the very beginning of the filtration process. It takes out all the large items that come, tin cans, anything like that, it doesn't get stuck in the pumps and mm -hmm. you know, damage the equipment. And then as you can see, as you go through, the screens get smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. And then we have these filters called Johnson screens where the screens are even smaller than that. Mm -hmm. That's as much as gets done before it gets pumped. So this big tank up in front of us, this is our raw water storage tank. This is the water that we take in directly from the river. Wow. We pump it up to here, and then from there, we take it into the building. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually about three million gallons. This is the main plant. This is where everything happens inside this building. Mm -hmm. You know, this is actually a chemical fill station right here where we take in all the chemicals. Show me where the magic happens. And this is where all the dangerous <laughs> stuff is. <laughs> Okay, so where are we now? This is our xenon ultrafiltration. This is the, um, like the heart of this water plant. This is where all the impurities and the bacteria and the metals and stuff like that are filtered out of the water. Mm -hmm. Everything except the salt. This is the filtration we use before it goes to the RO system, the reverse osmosis. It's a smaller filtration mm -hmm. that actually takes out the salt particles. Mm -hmm. okay. How long did it take you to learn everything? Did you have to take a lot of science courses at community college? There were a few. There was uh, some basic chemistry and then there was some environmental chemistry. You have to learn about the water that's coming in and what the regulations are, you know, what you have to take out of the water before you put it into a distribution system. And they do have classes specific to that. So what goes on in this room? This is our laboratory where testing on the water quality it tells us if our chemistry is right, if we're treating the water the right way, if our filtration is working the right way. So do you have any samples here that I can have a test of? Um, actually, yes, right here. Once it's tested, we uh, taste test. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Try you very that. much. Mm, that's good. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Looks, looks a little better than where it came into the plant, <laughs> too, right? <laughs> so, in the future, as the world gets more populated, is this field going to be more necessary? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Right now, our fresh water supplies are they're depleting more and more every day, and so many areas have salt water supplies available to them, you know, from running rivers to oceans, and this can be used, you know, to give people water that just never had clean drinking water before, you know, and 
-hmm. They're just making it a lot less expensive than it used to be. It's it's more feasible now, and they'd be, they're able to do it with much smaller systems now too. So. Mm -hmm. So do you think more people are going to be going to community college to get the training for this field? They should be. They should be. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really interesting field and there's such a need for people that can run this type of equipment and take the salt out of water. It's just getting to be used a whole lot more now. With majority of the world's water containing salt, desalination plants like that one are critical to providing clean, drinkable water. Mike is on a great, fast-moving career track, and you can really tell that he loves what he's doing. If you're interested in learning more about water treatment programs, be sure to visit your local community college. And for more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.